Hey there, fellow designers and AutoCAD enthusiasts. Welcome to my channel, where we explore the world of design in 2 and 3D. Today, I have a fascinating topic lined up for you. We'll be diving into the world of geometry as I show you how to draw a cycloid using AutoCAD. So, let's get started. Alright, let's quickly go over what a cycloid is. A cycloid is a specific curve here shown in white, generated by a point here, this one, on the circumference of a circle of that one. And that circle rolls along a straight line, this one here. This has some remarkable properties and is often used in various engineering and mathematical applications. Well, let's begin in an empty drawing file. I'll switch over here. I'll just show you I get some layers lined up here, different colors. And I will start drawing that cycloid with a circle. With that first circle. So I, I'm in the blue layer, press C, and specify the center point for that circle. That'll be 0 in X and 44 in Y, right here. I'll give that a radius of 44, and now I will calculate the circumference of that circle. So its diameter is 88 times pi, and that gives me a dimension of 276.5. I'll work with a one decimal de digit in this exercise. So I press L for the line command, start at this origin, go to the right and type in that 276.5. Alright, let's dimension these two objects. I go to my dimension layer, take the dimension tool here, 88, and here 276.5. Now let's divide that circle into eight uh, equal parts. I'll take the yellow layer for that line again. Straight line, straight vertical line. And make a polar array of that. Take that line, accept that. Center point is here. I press A for angle between and specify that with 45 degrees. All right. Next, I will copy this line from that point to here. I go from copy, take that, accept it, from here to there. Then I'll change the layer of that one to auxiliary green dotted line and change that to again magenta and draw points here. I'll divide, divide that line here into eight segments. All right. Next, I will copy this auxiliary line from that ba base point to here, to there, and to there. Next, I will copy that circle from that base point to these points here. A 
accept that. And once again, I will switch to red and go to the point command and start um, defining the intersections of those circles with those auxiliary li lines. So the circle starts here. Next one is there. Then comes that one. Oh, I see that this isn't. Um, precise there. Okay. Okay, I'll go back to the point command. And so the next one is that circle with that line. And then this one here. Now we can mirror those um, points over this line here. Okay. And now we will um, draw that um, curve. We might want to clean up the drawing for a moment to find those um, points better. So I go to the red layer here, make it active, um, invert selection, and deselect those here. Then I go to the solution layer, turn it on, Go to the spline fit command here and start connecting those points. I press enter and finally, maybe we want to turn all on and look at that beautiful cyclone we just created with AutoCAD it perfectly represents the path traced by our rolling circle and that's a wrap for today's tutorial on drawing a cycloid using AutoCAD I hope you found this video informative and inspiring. Experiment with different parameters and explore the world of geometry in your digital designs. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below for more exciting content. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep creating and keep exploring. See you next time.